Hey guys, Sanguine here. So after tuning in live to the Summer Games Fest 2024, I was able to see the final Season 3 trailer, and I have to say, I was rather disappointed to see it was a small teaser for the official video that will be released before Season 3's official release. However, I must say, I did thoroughly enjoy the teaser. With the teaser, we were able to see the brand new, and might I add, amazing looking new map, Kyoto 1568. A more in-depth analysis of what we saw and Embark's plans for Season 3 can also be seen on Steam. Light received a bow, as well as a new long-range breaching tool for a gadget. Medium received dual katanas with the ability to block incoming bullets. And Heavy received a spear, as well as a gadget to hook in their enemies. Now, if I were to give my personal opinion on these additions, I'll have to say, it's simply not my cup of tea. I've always been a more ranged weaponry kind of person and prefer that playstyle. I was hoping that they would lean into more guns, but that's just me. However, I'm sure for you melee lovers, these additions are right up your alley and are sure to shake up all of our games. Delving more into the Steam article, we can see other, and might I say, controversial plans for Season 3. The biggest plan is to shift their premier ranked mode, Cash Out, to the once limited time mode terminal attack. This change has definitely caused a great rift in the community as evidenced by the final subreddit and their own discord. With such a bold change, one could really ponder the question, why? Why undergo these drastic changes to the game? Well to me, this is an effort to bring in more players. Let's go back for a little bit. As we all know, the finals released with a bang, and upon releasing, it made various gaming news headlines as well as drawing the attention of big names in the gaming community, like Shroud, Asu, It's Timmy, Lyric, and more. With all eyes on the game, the game launched with 200,000 concurrent players on Steam, a rather impressive number contending with titles like Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Valorant, and Fortnite. However, not too long after its release, the game fell flat and lost 90% of its player base in about four months after its release. While it's understandable that a game loses a portion of its player base after the honeymoon phase of the game being new is over, dropping 90% is more than just people getting over the honeymoon phase. People are just outright and actively leaving the game. This can honestly boil down to a multitude of reasons, but if you ask me, there are a few I can easily point out. The Finals is a movement shooter at its core. Every movement shooter, with the exception of Apex Legends, has either died or dwindled into small niche communities. And in the case of Apex, movement is more inconsequential and situational. This is because of the nature of Apex's rotational aim assist on controller. Because of their aim assist, the game is much more focused on an opportunistic and position-based playstyle rather than a purely mechanically driven one. With aim assist being so overpowered, it enables PC and console controller players to lower the skill gap significantly, making aiming much more accessible while simultaneously making the barrier to entry for the game much lower as the base level mechanics of aiming are easier for controller players compared to the more competitive mouse and keyboard input. The upside to this, for the casual community at least, is it ensures that movement, especially on mouse and keyboard, does not dominate the scene. The downside to this is it makes the controller, which is coincidentally the largest casual player base, the dominant input while simultaneously artificially bridging the skill gap and alienating the hardcore community. And I know what you're all thinking. Okay, Sanguine, that's great and all about why movement hasn't killed Apex, but what does movement have to do with the finals losing its players? Well, it's very clear. Movement shooters are neat and attract a hardcore community. However, their skill gap tends to alienate novice or lower skill players, leading people of this category to seek out other games that are much less mechanically skill driven. So in effect, by centering their premier competitive and casual game modes around a mechanically high skill intensive and movement happy mode, they've alienated the casual community while only embracing the hardcore one that comes with the movement FPS genre. 
I believe Embark Studios is well aware of this, and they have even said things in the past like, we are trying to get in a hardcore community, that's all of you. I believe other reasons people have likely left can be deduced to the game requiring a new gen PC or console, optimization and bugs from the Unreal Engine, and balancing errors. Such balance errors of the past include nukes, controversial abilities like recon senses, completely busted and overpowered weaponry and specializations, class imbalances, and a never-ending oppressive MHH or medium heavy heavy meta, and etc. So how does this all tie in with why such dramatic changes are underway? And furthermore, why is cash out being replaced with terminal attack as the new official ranked mode? Well, with Nexon revealing that the finals did not perform as well as they were hoping with its explosive release and the evident drop of 90% of the concurrent player base it started out with, I believe Nexon are pushing Embark to better compete with their competitors in the live service shooter market. In order to do this, they're making Terminal Attack the focus of the game. Terminal Attack is very much so less mechanically demanding and less movement driven when compared to any of the other game modes as it features a more hardcore rule set. It's very much so more inclusive to the current casual FPS market and I believe Embark is trying to reach out again to the casual FPS market and remarket themselves as less of a movement shooter and more of a strategic shooter like its battle royale and tactical shooter counterparts that currently dominate the shooter market, not to mention but cash out can be seen as potentially competitively questionable as third partying is the optimal way to play the mode, as well as abusing less mechanically intensive classes like heavy. And while the game can already be mechanically demanding, especially with the movement shooter elements of the game, Embark likely does not want to further alienate the casuals by nerfing the casual, noob friendly and less mechanical skill driven class, AKA heavy. If you look at it from their perspective, keeping things less casual and more movement happy has caused the issue of player numbers being down. So nerfing the class that's the most accessible for the casuals, all because the hardcore player base is abusing the said thing, is not what Embark seems to want to do. Instead, they would rather keep heavy over tuned and try a different game mode where the class could be less effective in the meta. Shifting the game to a less mechanically focused one and more of a casual tactics and positioning one might just be the thing that turns the tide for Embark and Nexon's revenue stream. Not to mention, but within Embark's own Discord, they also announced that the cash out mode is not going away permanently. It is likely going to be temporarily benched until they figure out how to balance the mode itself as well as the pain points and the oppressive elements of the game, therefore bringing things in better tune and more competitively viable before embarking further down the cash out road. In addition to all of that, the cash out ranked mode will instead be a weekly event still present in the game while they are currently workshopping the cash out mode in general, making it more competitively balanced and trying to break in the pain points that people take issue with in the cash out mode. I'm genuinely curious, will this change alienate their remaining player base and fail to drive in more players? Or will it succeed and drive in more players that will also come to enjoy the more mechanically challenging game modes? Only time will tell, and we as a community should embrace the change as it is a rather Hail Mary play to drive in more players. If Nexon can't get Embark to make the finals profitable, then it's likely bye-bye to the finals and everything it has provided so far. If it fails, then it's back to the mechanically drab plethora of modern day shooters. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Do you agree? Disagree? And if you agree or disagree, please let me know your FPS or shooter years of experience. I like to know opinions of all entry levels. Please like the video if you enjoy my content and that's all for me, family. Maybe. Take it easy and peace. We're just gonna leave that there, bro. We're just gonna call it a day. Aw, bro. Someone's about to get the kill. Man, we're just on it. Oh. <laughs> 
Why did that look so goofy? 